started Raise Them Outdoors Camp because of my life as a military wife. I met a lot of fellow moms, um, even dads, but mostly moms, who were usually by themselves because their spouse is always gone and they wanted to get their kids into the outdoors. And maybe they depended on the dad, but they didn't have that option. And so they didn't know what to do. And one day, it just sparked me. I was like, there really isn't a lot of options to go out there and learn with your kid by yourself as a mom. I wanted to do a camp, just an intro camp, and I wanted the parents to come because I knew it was important for the parents to learn because there were so many parents that want to get into it, but they're intimidated because they don't know anything about fishing, hunting, or shooting. And so we wanted to do a family camp so when the kids leave, they have their parents who also learned right alongside with them and they get to continue on instead of coming to a camp and saying, hey, this is great, but now what? Like your dream western hunt come true right here. Seen anything wild as you. Even those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. To be in this moment right now is like Fantastic. pretty unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> Raise Them Outdoors Kids Camps have locations in Oregon, Virginia, and Texas, and are actively looking for locations to expand their reach into communities throughout the United States. The goal of Raise Them Outdoors is to provide kids from any background the opportunity to get outdoors and learn all about hunting, fishing, providing food for the table, and the outdoors as a lifestyle. Thanks to generous grants from organizations like the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, camp pricing is affordable for families to attend, and there are sponsorship opportunities available for families in need. Friday night is just check-in. Everybody gets to set up camp. The kids get to run around and play, get to know each other. We do a camp meeting. Saturday morning, we get going right from the get-go. We have breakfast ready by seven o'clock. 8.30, the kids start rolling. There's a schedule. Kids are doing either archery, they're doing 22 shooting, they're doing fishing, they're doing ski, or they're doing long range. Impact. Nicely done, okay? bud. There's okay. a hole in there. That was them shooting. There's not a you. hole in there. Okay. You hit it. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Dude, good job. Okay. High five. Okay, put your finger on the trigger and just hold it and press it gently. It moved a little bit. Hit. Good job. Do you hear it? <laughs> Many of the kids that attend the camp have little or no experience shooting. When they step up to the long range course seeing the guns for the first time, it can be intimidating. The Ruger Precision Rifles provide the perfect opportunity for the kids to learn that these guns are fun to shoot. And hesitation, it turns into determination and nothing encourages a new shooter like the sound of steel ringing at over 500 yards. The one-on-one -on -one instruction helps the kids develop fundamentals of marksmanship, build confidence, and create a potential lifelong sportsman. Yeah. You did it, give me five! Nice 
job. The archery station is really fun. They get to start out with just your basic five yard or 10 yard shot. So they get to just go on the practice range. Once they can hit the target, they go to the 3D range and they go in groups. And so we'll go about five groups and they have 10 3D targets and the kids love it. I can tell you it's one of the most stations where I think kids get hooked on activity when they leave. And their parents are like, I guess I gotta buy my kid a bow when I leave here. Okay, Camden, you ready? Put the sneak on the bear. Wanna try to get closer? You're gonna have to sneak on him though. Do you There'll want... be lots of fun sneaking up on the I get on your tiptoes. Tiptoes just like that. Yeah! That was wild that arrow was flipped like that, huh? Let's go find him. Come on guys. No wait. <laughs> Oh, I see a tunnel, guys. Look at that tunnel. Pigs don't see really well, so we can probably sneak up pretty close. Don't let them smell hey, you because they'll charge you. I see a cave. Yeah! Woo! You gonna give me instructions? Yes. I think you should. Can you just pull that back? Put your elbow in the straight this. back. Yeah. Okay. And then you let go when you're ready to shoot. Then you can let go. Oh man, I missed right over the top. We have a BB gun 22 station. It goes from three year olds up to eight year olds. They're on BB guns and 22s. This year we had steel targets thanks to JC Steel and this is the first year that we had all those steel targets. And so I could hear steel being hit from up at the main camp and that was a lot of fun. And so I got down there and there was kids that literally wouldn't leave the station. That was one of the best, best parts, I think. We have a skeet range for the older kids. They, we have 410s, we have 20 gauge and we have 12 gauges. We have clays sitting out and then the kids get a chance. We have hand throwers and we have the electric thrower and kids get a chance to try that out. And so they get to throw for their peers and they get to trade off. On Sunday, the kids trade in their rifles and bows for a fishing pole and some power bait. There's an old saying, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. The kids not only learn how to fish, and the importance of providing food for their table, they unknowingly, at the same time, are learning to fish to provide nourishment for their soul. The smile seen around this pond is just the start to a lifetime of happiness found on the side of a riverbank with family and friends. Raise Them Outdoors is all about new discoveries for these young camp goers. And when they discover that some animals have a language that they can learn to speak, well, there's nothing quite like the sound that comes from a room full of future elk hunters. Campers end the last day going home with new elk reeds and some special raffle prizes. I grew up in a pretty outdoorsy family. I had a pretty bad path growing up of drugs. I quit school and the only thing I think that straightened me out in life was the outdoors. I always had that background of fishing, always had that background of hunting because of my family. And the one thing that got me back grounded was getting back into fishing and my brother getting me back into hunting. I know how the outdoors literally probably saved my life. Hopefully through these camps, even though it's just one weekend that we can spark a little bit of interest to them or their parents and they can take that back with them and we really hope that, that just that day and a half to make a big impact. If they want to get involved, if they're local to our camp, we're always looking for volunteers. So, and you don't have to be a rifle instructor or archery instructor. We are in big need of general volunteers. They can reach out to us through our website. If they're not local and they want to help out, you can sponsor a kid you can get online, raisemoutdoors.com. You can donate $75, sponsors a kid for camp. Uh, $150 sponsors basically a family because the parents come for free. There's no way to quantify the value that is brought to the lives of these kids and the confidence that is built at this camp. To get involved with Raise Them Outdoors, please visit them online at raisemoutdoors.com.